I don't know your problem. But you've been a nuisance to me. I will stop these things. Even if I have to kill you to do it. Am I glad to see you, Doctor. How are you, Tom? I'm alright. What about you? Not too bad. With the fact I was just going to have a bullet lodged in my head, now I'm quite alright. It's a good thing you turned up when you did. What about them? They're dead. Yes. That was a misfortune, I must admit. I failed them, Tom. No, you didn't. The human race failed them. It's because of people like him. Come on. We need to get further up the beach. Must get reinforcements. Retreat. They're leaving. Yes. They're also going back to their base to tell their leader what's happened. They'll believe the master now. They should consider themselves lucky. That base was about to be exploded by the navy. Did Captain Whitaker order this attack? He did. But a call to the brigadier stopped them. What would I do without you? A lot of things. Is the device ready? Almost. I'm just running a through precautions. Do not delay. This is a very complicated task. It takes time. I cannot rush. Skaldak. What news? The other human was lying. It was a trap. He sent us to our deaths. The apes were waiting for us with weapons. We have suffered many casualties. We must return to the surface, revive our people, and attack now. No. The device is not ready yet. We need to give the Master more time. Have the human lied brought to me? He can stand trial and be destroyed for his crime. Anywhere, Skaldak. Well... The device is ready now. Then activate it. Captain Whitaker, I was just... What's going on? Who are you? Um, administrators from units. We're investigating a slightly delicate matter. Delicate matter? Why wasn't I told about it? Well, um... Well, it's top secret. I don't mean to be rude, sir, but who exactly are you? Colonel Watson. BNS. BNS? British Naval Society, Doctor. Oh. I want to speak to Captain Whitaker. Oh, well, he's having a lie down at the moment. Typical. Absolutely typical. Well, when he wakes up, tell him I want to speak to him, will you? If he can spare the moment. That, my dear Tom, is an example of the pompous military attitude in some people. <laughs> what was that? I have a slight feeling the sea devils are trying to break in. We are to take you back to our base. You will come with me. And suppose I don't want to. Oh. You make a fair point. All right, I'll come with you. I'm coming too. No, Tom. Stay here. I'm going to need you here to, to keep an eye on radio signals. Radio signals? Oh, right. Enough. You. Come with me. I have to say, your species may be brilliant, but I don't care much for your hospitality. Silence. I have brought the prisoner. Good. You are to stand trial for your crime. Crime? What crime? You misleaded us. You had us trust you. Instead, you set up an execution for a several number of our people. That wasn't my fault. You are a bad influence and must be destroyed. I see, well, um... Well, um, I'll come back. Hi! Stop him! I want him found. Ah, oh, Doctor, I've been expecting you. Don't be so stupid. Put the thing away. That would be a very foolish thing to do, Doctor. You can't run away. I wasn't trying to run away. I was trying to find you. For what purpose? To get you out of here before your friends turn on you. Rubbish. They won't turn on me. I'm their ally. I help them. That's what you think. But they're becoming exceedingly hostile. Ah. 
It's a good thing you turned up when you did. Take him. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> Take them both to the cages. What's the meaning of this? I'm your ally. Both, I say. Take them. I helped you. I helped you! Is anyone going to tell me what the hell is going on? You must be that sailor that got captured. Jeffrey. Where am I? Go on, Jeffrey. I'm going to get you out of here soon. Come on, Jeffrey. Turn on me. I can see the device works. They reads me. I very much doubt it. You see, why you were causing that little distraction, I reversed the polarity of neutron flow. You did what? Yes. In about, um, two minutes from now, the whole place should go. Enjoy your revenge. Guards! Guards, come back! You must release me! I must talk Skeldak! Let me out! We're all in danger! Let me out! You're wasting your time, you know. Even if they heard you, they can't do anything about it. Why not? Well, you see, I seem to have inherited the self-destruct mechanism in the main control switch. You can't turn it off. The three of us are going to be killed. That's right. Unless we can all escape. How do we plan to? We're stuck to the wall with super glue. Well, if I'm able to change the settings of the sonic amplifier and my sonic screwdriver, I should be able to create a magnetic force which will repel us off the wall. Ready? On three. Three. Two. One. It worked. Of course it worked. Now then, there's a handprint switch on the ceiling. Do you see it? Yes. Right. That should be the mechanism for this force field thing. All you need to do is flip the switch, turn it off, and set us free. All right. You. Thank you very much. Now then, let's get out of here before we're all blown sky high. What's that? A sort of transport craft, I should imagine. Do you think it will carry three? There's every possibility. Right, in you get, Geoffrey. And I'll drive. This device has been set to go. <laughs> well, I should say we managed to sort that out in a jiffy. What did you do? Well, as I said, I managed to overload the circuitry in the master's rehabilitation device. The whole energy built up on itself and to bang, it managed to create a force so big it blew up the entire base. But you destroyed a whole colony. You went against your forts for peace. I did. I had to, to prevent a war. Doctor, I saw you on the beach. Are you alright? Don't worry, Tom. Everything's sorted out now. Geoffrey? You better get back to the authorities. Tell them what's happened. What should I tell them? Tell them that you went missing for a while. A fog storm came along. You had no understanding of what it was or why it happened. One thing's for sure. It wasn't the events of aliens from the sea. Doctor, the master's gone. What? But he was right next to you. I'm telling you, he just vanished. Vanish into thin air. So he's free. Free once again.